Alrighty, you guys, welcome back to a brand new episode here on The Ankle. Hey, Ember. So, you guys, we are back, and today is definitely going to be a longer one. <laughs> we have an Amber, uh, Life with Amberlyn Reed, and it's called Moody Day. So I'm excited to see what she's bitching on about, because <laughs> you know she's going to be complaining. And then um, February 2014 favorites. Wonderful. We're going to see what she's been snacking on all month. And then a March 2014 goals. <laughs> and then a body shot. <laughs> Just because girly plop had to. Thank you so much for tuning on in, guys. I truly do appreciate it. Hope you had a great weekend. Great start to your week. Happy Easter and all that. Um, Don't want to waste too much time since it is going to be a longer one. So... Let's just dive right in, guys, shall we? Like and subscribe, become a channel member, all that, blah, blah, blah. Let's dive right in. Hello, everybody. Hey, Amber. Still unwashed, as usual. I think it's been close to a week now, girl. I know it looks like I just... And you got your, uh, you know, period. So... You should really be washing. Woke up because I did. Literally, like, three minutes ago. <laughs> oh, but, see, she told us that whenever she, you know, just hops right up and gets to filming, it's after she's already showered. Okay. But I wanted to get my, um... Girl, you're groggy as fuck. Like, this is why I don't be filming uh, these retro reacts in the morning anymore. I'm not on my shit. <laughs> First of the month, body shot up and on um, YouTube because... Girl, that's like four videos from now. Why are we jumping the gun? Oh, wait. Fuck me. We started on the wrong one. Ah! <laughs> Bad Jordan. Bad Jordan. We started on the wrong one, you guys. I'm so sorry. Ah. Should I just cut that out or leave it in? I think I'll leave it in. <laughs> All right, well, here's Moody Day. So, <clears throat> still unwashed, like nothing fucking changed. Just woke up and filmed a review on my breakfast, which was a Quest Bar. That was delicious. It was the cookies and cream one. So, make sure you guys watch that to see what I thought, even though I just said it was delicious. <laughs> so, right. Dude, it's a whole bunch of rambling in that video. It's so fucking annoying. Now I'm just feeding the animals. Dude, a thousand percent she does it on the fucking table like that because she doesn't want to bend down that many times. I've been kind of lacking on the filming front today. Girl, you always are. Sorry about that. I haven't really had much to film, but... I would say... Since you started your channel, you have not had much to film, but you still film it anyways. So I don't understand what that excuse is of like, well, I didn't really just, I didn't have anything to film. Girl, you filmed the dumbest, most mundane shit. So if she has nothing to film, you know she's just sitting around on her laptop or phone or whatever all day doing jack shit. Yeah. You know what I've noticed? I don't know if it's because I have gallstones or what. Oh my god. <laughs> of course. Something else. But I've been trying to eat more egg. Egg. Like I had an egg last night and after I ate it I kind of felt sick. Oh. Ooh. So she's blaming it on the gallstones now. Which I think honestly could maybe be a more plausible answer than the whole egg intolerance thing. I understand that, yes, eggs, depending on how you cook them, can make some people sick. It's just, I don't know. I don't know if she even actually does get sick, to be honest, because we know how Amberlynn is. Um, it's weird. Um, eggs are supposed to be healthy for you and stuff like that, so it's like kind of... Girl, you don't... She didn't know what egg intolerance was at this point. She probably didn't even know that was possible. Sucky that, you know, that's happening, but 
<sighs> well, maybe if you, you know, regularly went and spoke with doctors, girl, this would be a lot better. If you had a job, you know, you could have health insurance. Hello. It just really seems like every single time I eat egg, I feel like kind of sick. Egg. Yeah, girl. <laughs> it sucks, but maybe I just have to get used to eggs. Like <laughs> Dude, she she tried to make herself just get used to eggs for like six years. Oh my god. <laughs> if there's one thing about Amber Lynn, she's gonna try and fail and try and fail a thousand times before she gets the fucking hint. Usually don't eat it at all. I don't know. Well, you can also, I don't know like if it's the egg whites or the yolk that upsets her. Like... I don't know, try just egg whites. That would be much healthier for you anyways. But who knows? Sometimes I just feel so... One of my friends growing up in uh, high school, she was allergic to eggs. And to be honest, guys, before I became friends with her, I didn't really know that egg allergies were that like big of a thing. But she was like deathly allergic like they had to use vegan A's, uh vegan mayo they you know whenever they would go out to eat always had to tell the chefs to use different knives different cutlery or like a different cutting board everything uh wash their hands use gloves like it was pretty severe alone Gonna bring it back, monks. You just gonna sit there and chew on it. So I haven't showed what perfume I'm using in a while, so I decided to show it today. Oh, probably because you haven't been. Today I'm using Hello Darling, which is a white nectarine and peony. Once again, not how you pronounce it. Flavor. <laughs> I got this at Victoria's Secret, and this one is Calgon Parisian Charm which I got at either Walmart or Target. They both smell very, very good. So... I'm sure. Earlier, I got a... Dude, she still hasn't showered. Like, what the fuck? To be honest, I was crying a lot. I just felt alone and sad. It happens. Oh, why? And now I'm like chipper and happy and smiling and laughing. I just... Girl, oh. Oof. Oof. And she didn't, doesn't see... She spoke about this before, too, how quickly she can switch from happy to mad and then mad to happy again. Dude, you need therapy. Go speak to a doctor. So much better. And if that's on a mood swing, I don't know what is. I'm still on my period. TMI, I know. And now my girlfriend started hers, so now we're in sync. Oh, good lord. Which could be a bad thing. No. A thousand percent is going to be a bad thing. <laughs> Jesus, because Amberlynn's going to be like, it needs to be all be about me. You know, sometimes I just get sad and need to cry. And I did. And sometimes it feels better once you get it off your chest. It really does. It puts things... Okay, girl, this pimple really did just show up overnight, huh? Or into perspective, it seems like. Okay. Amber Lynn learns to feel her emotions, 2014. He ate a turd. Oh. <laughs> What are you doing, Mom? Y'all, that is not normal. It really is not. Oh, God. I'm horrible at this. <sighs> I broke it. Girl. What the fuck? Like always. What are you doing? What are you doing? She's such a brute with other people's things. Stop eating turds. Tropical. Well, maybe if y'all actually took care of him. Oh, coconut. Yum, yum, yum. We're about to watch an episode of Bob's Burgers. Aw, oh, goddammit. 
I've been watching Bob's Burgers a lot lately. I took a break from it for a while, and I've just been re-watching it. I don't know. It's funny. But now I can't enjoy it because of Amber Lynn Reed. <laughs> kidding. Please don't ask. <laughs> yes. What do you mean, please don't ask, girl? It's literally a cartoon that's, like, made for adults. It's a cartoon, and you can't really see it. But, uh, Crystal likes this show, so I guess I'll watch it with her, and it's kind of weird and funny. Girl, it's literally made for adults. Why are you being condescending to it just because it's a cartoon? Like, the fuck? I love adult cartoon shows. Family Guy, American Dad. Like, and there's a bunch on, like, Netflix that are really good. Shut the fuck up. You're such a condescending bitch. It's better than your rom-com bullshit. You're so cool, Bingles. Come back after dark. You're so cool. You see Your rom-com bullshit of lifelong friends fucking their each other's kids. Like, what the fuck? You sick freak. So, this is dinner tonight. Not oh, great. Great. Just what this girl needs. Healthy whatsoever, but... Oh, it looks bomb, though. Mm, I love Chinese food. <laughs> It's too late to order any, but mm, so good. I'll make the best choices that I can for Girl, bye. myself. You're going to have like five types of rice and fried chicken and two cookies. Chance favors those in motion. Okay, well, Amberlynn hasn't been in motion since she popped out the womb. Happiness depends on ourselves. <laughs> Both of these are things that, like, Amberlynn is completely incapable of. What do we do? Pick what you want. Do you want beige or do you want... Maybe that fortune was telling her, like, the next ten years, dog. <laughs> Gonna be rough for ya. Wait, if I get there. Which one do you want, Jenny? I don't you pick it. it. No one's faced on You don't like the term. I mean, beige, you said. Oh, well, I mean, I guess it's nice to see, like, uh, Crystal's parents joining in with her. Of course, Amberlynn couldn't be bothered. It's probably too much moving. Dude, she's literally just an observer of everyone else. Like, she only observes other people's lives. Maybe that's why she loves YouTube so much. But, like, I don't know. She, she just doesn't seem to have any experiences of her own. band with my girlfriend and her parents. <laughs> oh, were you playing? Didn't look like you were. I did the singing. Crystal was on drum. <laughs> of course, the one the one that it takes the least amount of effort. Um, her mom did bass and her dad did guitar. So that was fun and interesting. I'm currently sitting on the ground because that's where I do the singing because I feel like no one can hear me that way. But that's probably all just in my head. I get really shy singing in front of people. So yeah, but it was fun. Okay, girl, whatever. Look, I'm on the TV. Yeah, <laughs> rough. Yay. I'm famous. <laughs> okay, girl. Uh, you're infamous now, that's for sure. Mommy, I made it. <laughs> Ooh, rough. Rough. Totally kidding. So tonight, I'm gonna be... Yeah, we know you're kidding, girl. We know you don't have a relationship with your mother. It's okay. Getting about three hours of sleep because I fall... I lay down to go to sleep at 4 a.m., but I, in reality... Falling asleep is probably about at 5 a.m. That's fucking crazy, dude. That's crazy. I mean, like, to be fair, that's kind of what my schedule was. But when I was 23, that was, like, during the pandemic. So, <laughs> we all were kind of just fucking around in our houses, right? <laughs> Um, same for my girlfriend. But Amber Lynn's been living like everyone else was during the pandemic her entire life. Well, not her entire life, but like mainly the last 10 years that we've seen on YouTube. Amber Lynn has just always lived in lockdown. So we're going to be getting about three hours of sleep because we have to wake up early tomorrow. Because Well, that's your guys' fault. You know, maybe... Don't be fox. <laughs> um, she has a um, 
Oh, I'm on the TV. Oh, cringe. Okay, just wait a minute. I want to watch this after I'm done. Okay, so. Girl, she's like, wait a minute. I want to watch this after. <laughs> Bitch. Oh my God. Of course you do. Of course you do. Back to what I was saying. Crystal has an eye doctor appointment. So, um. Oh, the eyeglasses. So, uh, Chris. Crystal's getting hers soon, so that means Amber's going to be getting her fake one soon as well. <laughs> yeah, so. What what time is your eye doctor appointment at? Like 10.30? But then her dad and her mom also has an eye doctor appointment, so that means... And their appointment's before hers, so we have to wake up at like 8. I know for most people that's like considered sleeping in, but for me it's not. Um, I have a really bad sleeping schedule. Oh, Lord. Lord, if only we knew we'd be hearing this for the next 10 years, you guys. <laughs> but oh well. And then after we go to her... Well, why the fuck do you have to go? You can sleep your big ass in. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Slipped out. Like, you can sleep in, girl. <laughs> we'll be um, going grocery shopping. Um, yeah. How weird. Seeing me on TV is... This is so cringe. Like, really weird. I know I'm not really on TV, but still. That's so weird. So, as you guys saw... You saw... Um, I did have Chinese food for... You probably went ham, huh? Uh, it's okay, girl. I get it. Every now and then, I need a good Chinese night. Um, well, it was actually lunch, but I'm also going to consider it dinner. Um... I probably ate more than I should have. So oh, shocker. I'm just not going to eat for the rest of the night. That's actually, I support that. It's not the best, obviously, but, like, she had a lot. So, yeah, you know, you should kind of forfeit your other meals. I get that. I'll probably eat one of these, which helps with appetite control. I've only eaten one since I've had this, so just thought I'd say and um i've had it for a week now and um it helps metabolize fat it's called garcinia cambogia chews i've showed these before and i might have one later if i start feeling like super hungry um i i do have you know some veggies down there so if it gets too bad then i'll you know i'll eat some vegetables currently we have no fruit because we ate it all so um yeah, so, I mean, fruit-wise, Avi, I can't eat any, but um, I'll definitely be buying more fruit tomorrow at the store, so. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to tell you guys that, you know, not every day is going to be perfect. I was... I mean, we'll see in the way and won't we? major mood swing diva today like i'd go from oh wonderful i bet that was real fucking great to deal with crying to laughing to mad to grumpy to just moody all around um, and you know what take i mean take this with uh, a grain of salt because i am a man but she's gonna blame that on her period but like is that really a valid excuse to be a cunt? No, not not in my opinion. Um, I'm not just going to blame it on my period. I'm having some issues with other things in my life. And, you know. What, girl? What, huh? Tammy? Is it Tammy again? <laughs> Sometimes I, I leave a lot bottled bottled in. And girl, where? And it creates me to kind of. um. Creates you to fucking. Oh, my God. <sighs> brain dead explode normally i explode in a negative way and i get kind of harsh um it depends but today i kind of well i believe it just cried I, I i held on to my dog and i was just like crying like a baby um i kind of just wanted to be alone not your dog i know there's been a lot of discourse lately about how um crystal's parents got that dog for her she didn't originally say that. She did not originally say that they got Monkey. Because she has talked about how they got Monkey. And she did not say anything at all that he was for her. 
that he was her dog. So that wasn't originally part of her narrative. That only came in later on after people were questioning why she calls them her animals. And, um, you know, it made me feel better. And then I had to talk with Crystal and I had to talk with her dad and, you know, her mom. And I just feel a lot better now. You know, just sometimes you need to cry. And you Girl, what? You had to go around like to everyone be like, what do you think about my issues? What do you think I should do? Which I guess, you know, that's what they're there for, I guess. But, uh, I just wish she actually, like, took therapy seriously. <laughs> Need to just let it out. And once I did, I did feel better. Um, even though I felt better, you know, I still overate, even though I probably shouldn't have. Um, I didn't overate by much, but I'm not gonna eat any more today. You know, just, it's just my choice. And yeah, I mean, it's just my choice. I can drink my water, eat my fruits, if I feel like, or fruits, veggies, if I feel, you know, the need to eat something, which I probably won't. Um, so I just, Girl, why do you even need veggies? Like, what the fuck? I just kind of want to check in and let you guys know that that's kind of what happened today and how my day's been so far. Crystal's watching um, YouTube on her. Oh, Lord. Lord, these are the OG days of Trisha. TV now that she saw that she can do such a thing. By the way, that's Trisha Paytas. She's awesome. <laughs> okay, girl. Okay. <laughs> Love that for you. Love Trisha Paytas. Girl, you can't even pronounce her name correctly. That's what you doing in the box, babies. You like boxes, huh? She's looking at me like she wants me to shut up. <laughs> Girl, yeah, <laughs> so are we. Smokes, are you in the box now, boy? Are you in the box now? Oh, yes, you are. Cranberry. Cute cat, I will be honest. Cranberry raspberry. So, I ended up having a 100-calorie popsicle. I mean, a popsicle's a popsicle. 100 calories, you know. Oh, well. <laughs> I also took one of those chews I told you guys about. And um, I've been drinking my water. So, I'm actually feeling not even hungry at all. Um, if anything, I kind of feel full. So, those things definitely work. And chugging water helps as well. So, I think I'm going to be at ease for the rest of the night. Um, just because I'm waking up early tomorrow doesn't mean I'm going to sleep early. Because I'm the one who feeds the animals in the middle of the night. And I know that if I fall asleep, I won't be able to wake up to feed them. So, I have to stay awake. Um, and knowing that I'm going to be awake for so long kind of scares me. And I feel like I'm going to be starving. But for how I'm feeling right now, I'm feeling pretty, pretty full. So, that's... Girl, you are going to fucking be fine. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. It's not bad to feel hunger. Like, sorry if that's a controversial take. It's not bad to feel hungry. It's like a good feeling. and I, I mean, obviously it's bad to feel hungry all the fucking time. But like, you'll survive, girl. Just go to sleep. <laughs> eight hours and hours ago. So that thing definitely works, honestly. Ringo, that's supposed to be a toy, baby. Not a place to sleep. Oh, that's the cat toy I got them, and she's laying on it like it's her new bed. That's actually totally cute. So I think I'm gonna end. It's all that catnip, girl. They fucking want that shit. I vlog now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow. And if you're in smiling, smile. Bye. Good lord. Alrighty, guys. Well, with that, let's head on to her 2024, or 2024, 2014 favorites. Hello, everybody, and welcome to- Hey, Amber, with that sloppy ass sound and mouth again. <laughs> oh, let's just get into this. My February 2014 favorites video. So the first favorite I'm going to show you is the alfresca chicken sausage that I am eating a lot of. I like all different types of flavors and it's already fully cooked so it makes it just that much easier to make with my veggies. I definitely recommend. Oh, uh, we're doing 
just a voiceover shit now. Oh, oh. Organic cooked sausage. Wegmans has became my favorite grocery store. It is jam-packed with all kinds of different foods. Jam-packed. This store is actually known for um, selling very, very good-for-you food. Lots of organic food, great produce, and I absolutely love this store to shop at. Oh, yeah. So, another... Well, of course you do, girl. It's not... <laughs> none of it's your money. Favorite of mine are these baked bagel chips uh, and gourmet garlic. They're only 80 calories for a serving. We're still talking about these. Good Lord. And a serving is 20 pieces. Girl, you could have like 100 pieces of celery for probably less than 80 calories. <laughs> These are amazing to dip in guacamole, to dip in hummus, or do whatever you like. Thank you, girl. Thank you. Once again, Amberlynn giving everyone permission to just do whatever they like, okay? You guys, no pressure. Do whatever you want to do. <laughs> there are three po protein, one sugar, 1.5 fat. <laughs> Three protein, 1.5 sugar. <laughs> I don't think she understands, like, how dumb she sounds. Like, I imagine to someone who... Who doesn't... Like, English isn't their first language. I imagine hearing Amberlynn talk would confuse the utter shit out of them. <laughs> they <do laughs> They would be looking at her, like, trying to figure out what's coming out of her mouth, like... Huh? <laughs> 15 carbohydrates. I mean, that's how she has us native English speakers. <laughs> she has us fucking confused on the daily. Great. Again, you get a lot for only 80 calories. Another. Okay, where are the carbs though, girl? Favorite of mine this month is this cat coin purse. I've had this for a few months now, but I never noticed how well and sturdy it really is. It was $10 at Urban Outfitters. How adorable it is. I mean, Urban Outfitters back in the day used to be good. And I use this not only for coins, but I use this also for my money. Like dollar. Wow, incredible. Bills. And for what money? It will fit in pretty much any size purse, even though I carry it even in my big purses. I just absolutely love it, and um, it really does come in handy. Okay. Why do you need to eat more? Veggies, 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 and more veggies, please. I have been loving to cook um, different veggies this month. I am becoming healthy. Different where, though? It's all the same shit. Here, and it feels amazing. I cook onion, mushrooms, spinach, carrots, and I mix it uh, sometimes with beans or eggs or a uh, chicken sausage. See, if she was just eating this, maybe not necessarily bad, but like, it's still slop. And <laughs> I'm gonna start actually using turkey patties. That's gonna be exciting. But yes, veggies, veggies, veggies. Okay. Another favorite of mine this month. Of course she's so, so this excited. Is another one of my February favorites. Um, Who the fuck is that? I heard about this channel from a friend of mine and i really enjoy watching vlogs so i looked up matt and kaylee and i started with the first vlog they ever made and i became obsessed they are very friendly they're funny they're entertaining they actually um really do care about their subscribers and I well, girl, I would hope so. I would hope that any YouTuber would actually genuinely care about their subscribers. It's clear you don't. Very clear that you don't. I would say even back then, at this point, you didn't necessarily care. Because even if you got criticism from a subscriber, you would, you know, shit on them. Like, and that's someone that genuinely supports you. So... Really, really really like uh vloggers and 
um, people who make YouTube videos that are like that instead of seeming snotty and stuck up, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so you, if you guys like vlogs, you should definitely look up Matt and Kaylee. This 150 calorie fit to go cottage cheese. Oh, but girl, it's in plastic. It's in plastic though. Doesn't plastic containers creep you out? Mm. It's become a major favorite of mine. Um, it has 15 protein in just this container and it tastes so good. All I need to do is sprinkle top my black pepper and it is ready to go. It is great for a lunch or a dinner like a side dish or even just for a snack it is absolutely delicious okay please <laughs> okay girl okay i see you do not get me started on how much i love this show my 600 pound life is an inspiration to me yes i have never oh is it girl i think it was a negative influence for you to be honest i really do i think amberlyn sat there and thought to herself, you know what? At least I'm not that bad. And then she got that bad. You know what I mean? Reached 600 pounds, but it showed like that literally looks like Amber. It's me how much I really do want to change and oh, that's so sad. Better myself. If these people can do it, so can I. If I these people can do it, see. <laughs> What do you mean by that, girl? Um, not only is this a February favorite, but it's an overall favorite. Do you mean to say if these nasty, lazy, fat fucks can do it, then so can I? Because that's what it sounds like you mean to say. Sorry, but, like, I'm not going to mince words about it. That's probably what she's fucking thinking. I absolutely love this show. It is amazing. So, another one of my favorites is the brand Near East when it comes to couscous. I have tried several flavors of Near East couscous, and they have all been delicious. I'll vouch for her on this one. It is a good, uh, like, brand. <laughs> they say it cooks in five minutes, but it actually cooks in less than that. Well, yeah, because Amberlynn cooks everything on high heat. <laughs> I mean, come on now. And for every single box, a serving is one full cup. Calories range from 170 to 200. Honestly, oh, get that deep breath, girl. That is a lot of couscous. So sometimes I even split it. I've said it before. She needs to count calories on her breaths because she sucks in so deep. <laughs> half of the serving. Because you get a lot and you're able to have more tomorrow night or whenever else you want to eat it. I recommend Near East couscous more than I probably recommend anything. <laughs> It is absolutely amazing. Okay, girl. Aside from Ninja Moose. <laughs> oh my god. Another favorite of mine this month is Garcinia Cambogia. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. You definitely are. Choose. I believe it's Cambogia. It supports appetite control and helps metabolism fat. I got this at GNC for a bag of this is about $28. Jesus fuck. But it's definitely worth it. There Is it? A 30 chews. Well, I mean, shit, Crystal's parents probably thought, hey, we're probably saving money in the long run if this actually does work, because she'll be eating less. <laughs> Zero G sugar. 20 calories. And everything else is zero. Besides total fat is 0 0.5. And carbohydrate is four. So this really, really, truly does help. And I definitely recommend it. So amongst all of these different Good Lord. water enhancer flavors, this one right here is my favorite for this month. The, of course it is, girl. The Tropical Coconut by Crystal Light. Obviously, zero calories. Obviously. Zero sugar, zero sodium, zero everything. Absolutely delicious. Incredible. Another one of my favorites this month is Clean Color Nail Liqueur in the <laughs> Nail Liqueur. Color Blood. 
I use How vampy of you. Snail polish quite frequently. Whenever I paint my nails, it seems like I choose this. I'll be so for real, guys. I ordered some Chinese food. I haven't eaten all day, so this is my reward. <laughs> color. It lasts a long time, and it's a very, very pretty color red. Okay, girl, I don't give a shit about this. <laughs> Sometimes you just want a chocolate chip cookie, but you're on a diet, so you sit there and deprive yourself. But why not eat in moderation? Another one of my favorites this month is Weight Watchers Chocolate Chip Cookie. It is absolutely delicious and only 90 calories. There is four fiber, one protein, 2.5 fat, um, and only nine sugars. So don't deprive yourself. Grab a good old Weight Watchers chocolate chip cookie. You hear that, guys? Don't deprive yourselves. Amberlynn is allowing you. <laughs> Girl. My overall favorite for this month oh, Lord. was February 14th, Valentine's Day. Yeah, because you got to go out to a buffet. I went on a date with my girlfriend, and um, it was just amazing. We went out to eat, and then we went shopping at the mall, and I just had a fantastic time. Of course you did. You participated in your two favorite addictions, eating and shopping. It was full of laughs, and smiles, and kisses. I love yeah. you so much, Crystal. Those fucking weird ass fingers just like <laughs> locked in. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. And if you aren't smiling, smile. Uh, she sneaks it in there, dude. I almost anticipate that it's not going to happen, and then it does. <laughs> it's like salt in the wound. Hello, everybody. Hey, Amber. What's this? Oh, her March 2014 goals. Let's see what girly flop, plop, and drop. <laughs> uh, guess it wants for herself this month. Let's see. Let's so, see. I told you guys before. Still unshowered. Or that I will film any video that is requested of me to film. Oh, Lord. And someone requested that I film a March goals video, meaning film a video of the goals I want to. So even back then, her audience was doing all of the work for her. <laughs> succeed in in March. I was already thinking of doing this video in the past, so it was like we both had the same, same thought. <laughs> so thank you to the person who suggested and requested that I film this. So now I'm filming it. Um, I wrote down my goals on this paper in some very, very messy handwriting. Um, so this video might actually be kind of short, but I just kind of wanted to get my goals across and make a video for you guys. And next month I will tell you guys if I succeeded at this goal. Or at the end of this month, probably. I'll tell you. <laughs> okay, girl. Okay, so my first goal is I want to lose 10 pounds. That'll yeah, okay. I don't think you're going to do that at the rate of losing two or so pounds a week, but... Put me at 347.2. So we will see. I Plus 10 pounds in a month, girl. You're obviously not changing all that much if that's all you're losing. I really because even at this size, you could be dropping like twenty or more a month. I believe that I can do it if I um try hard enough. Um, if you I you could do better if you try actually tried if you educated yourself and actually tried. Don't I can't beat myself up, but as long as I'm down something, you know that's 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 better than gaining. But like I said, my goal is to lose 10 pounds. I want to exercise daily. Like I've told you guys, I have this whole um, exercise re regimen, re regimen. Oh my God. <laughs> regimen <laughs> that I have planned for myself and that I've been doing. And I've been doing it every single night uh, for about a week now. And what those are are these few things that I will talk about in a minute. 
And what I do is I do each of them and I count how many I do and each day I have to do the same amount as I did the night before or more. So my goals. Girl, you're already going to set yourself up for failure with that though. Because there is inevitably going to be a day where you don't want to do as many as you did on your most like ambitious day. You know, because you're going to have a really ambitious day where you go above your means and then in your mind you're like, okay, well, I have to match that or do better. So, which like, that's not going to be feasible all of the time. So you're just setting yourself up for failure. That is, I want to be able to do 20 leg ups on each side instead of 16. So that means I'm Ain't no way. But how does this not irritate your hip or whatnot? But girl, <laughs> at 16 reps right now, and I want to be able to do 20. I want to be able to do 30 crunches instead of 22 because I'm at 22 crunches right now. I want to be able to do 45 arm ups instead of 40. So right now I'm at 40. I want to be able to do 30. So five more. Good job, girl. <laughs> Eight seconds. It's not even, she doesn't use weights or anything. On a wall sit instead of 35. So currently I can do a wall sit for 35 seconds. That's wild to me. Wild. When I did Taekwondo, we used to have to do like five minute wall sits. <laughs> Could you imagine Amber Lynn? <laughs> I want to be able to do 50 moderate moderation. It's my moderate. Okay, this doesn't make sense. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it doesn't, but I think you're the culprit. You don't make sense, girl. I want to be able to do 50 jumping jacks instead of 40. My jumping jacks don't consist of me jumping, but it still consists of everything else, and I'm moving my leg and. My girlfriend was actually laughing at me when I was doing it last night. She was like saying how I was looking like I was dancing and everything else. I don't even know. Yeah, she's talking about a modified jumping jack. But I'm currently at 40 and I want to be at 50. So everything that I'm on now, like 16 leg ups, 22 crunches, 40 arm ups, 35 seconds wall sit, and 40 jumping jacks i actually used to be a lot lower on each and every single one of those that's kind of crazy to me so i'm already doing amazing so i feel like i can um do even better this month and those are my goals for that another goal of mine is i want to think before i speak because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Because I tend to, if something's upsetting me or someone's, you know, hurting my feelings or acting like they don't care about me or acting like they don't care about what I say, I tend to kind of... Act I would love to know who she's talking about. The same way. Um, like... No, girl, I have a feeling you tend to mirror that energy, but, like, to be fair, it's all in your head. Like... Unless that person says that's how they feel, then you really have no right to go acting like a cunt for no reason. But Two also just like you need to learn to read the room. Wrongs make a right, but really it doesn't. Two wrongs do not make a right. And so I want to, um, if some. Okay, no shit. That's kind of the saying, girl. Two wrongs don't make a right. <laughs> what? Does she think the saying is two, two wrongs make a right? What? Someone's treating me badly. I want to think before I treat them the same way because I just want to treat people how I want to be treated instead of treating people how they treat me, if that makes sense. Another thing is I want to be more positive. Um, Eye roll. I'm a very positive person. <laughs> yeah, okay, girl. In every situation. But oh, every single one? Except for when someone, you know, is acting like they don't care about you. Aww. I feel like I could be even more positive. Um, I, I worry a lot. I don't I don't want to worry so much. And I, I kind of just... I mean, you know what? She's 23. She's still moderately very young. I worried about a lot of unnecessary shit when I was 23, you know? I can look back as the 
old 28 year old man that I am now. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> and be like, a lot of the shit you worried about really was for no reason. To be fair, though, like I said, I was 23 during, like, the pandemic and all that, so rough period. <laughs> I'm feeling happier, but I want to be even more happier than happier, if that makes sense. And I feel like if I'm a more positive person, then I will be. Well, fake positivity don't mean shit, dude. So, those are my goals for March, and um, I will most definitely, I guess maybe the last day of March film a video letting you guys know what my goals were and if I succeeded in them. So again, thank you to the person who suggested this. I mean, I'm eager to know if we will actually see that, but I doubt it. I doubt we'll see her be like, guys, I was successful in this, this, and this. I swear. Video, because it got me off my butt. Okay, well, not really off my butt because I'm still sitting on my butt. <laughs> yeah, you always are. <laughs> but it got me to make this video, so thank you very much. And that was that. Okay. And if you guys are watching this video, I think you guys should make a goals video for this month. Um, I'm good. <laughs> um, I'd love to see it. So tell me down and below um, what your goals are or show me the link of what your goals are. Hmm. I would like to paint more this month. That's my goal. Or anything like that. And if you aren't smiling, smile. Bye. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hey, Amber. So, this is a real short one, guys. It's only a little over a minute, but this is the body shot for March. Buddy, I know it looks like I just woke up because I did. Literally. And this is the one that we started with accidentally. Really, like three minutes ago. <laughs> So yeah, this is pushing like day four or five of her not showering. But I wanted to get my... If she doesn't shower in the, mo like, you know, uh, before she goes out to the doctors with them. Oh my God. Um, first of the month. After having her um, period. Girl. Girl. Unwashed on your period. I'm sorry, not to, like, I don't want to sound like a misogynistic asshole, but that smell would literally make me vomit. Body shot up and on um, YouTube because I'm about to take a shower, do my makeup, do my hair, get ready for the day. Something tells me Amber Lynn just really, like, gets off on the attention that comes in when she shows her body, positive or negative. It, like, feeds something within her. My girlfriend has an appointment. And to be honest, I think she likes looking at her own body to some extent, but also, like, she doesn't. I think, like, when she's feeling herself, I don't think she cares, like, looking at her body. You know, she thinks she's the hottest shit ever. Um, but I think when she's in her depressed episodes, when reality sinks in, I think that's when, like, you know, the weight of it all really hits her. Eh, I'm sure. Literally. None of you care about any of this, so. <laughs> Here is my body shot for March 1st. Um, I've been doing, this is the third month I've been doing these. I did it for January 1st, February 1st, and now March 1st. I really enjoy doing this. So incredible. Um, last time I weighed in was Wednesday at three fifty-seven point two. So that's what I'm gonna say. I weigh in this video. <laughs> but when was that? So here you go. The legs are definitely looking somewhat better. Like, you know, the ankle area. The ankle! <laughs> oh, that was it. Alrighty. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. As always, I truly do appreciate it. Every single one of you, thank you so much. Goo thanks you as well. Um, and, yeah. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Like and subscribe. Become a channel member. 
and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.